Hi, I'm Tong Han from Gyeongbuk National University. Uh, this is a real-time heartbeat estimation system using PPG signals. The, my goal is to detect the, the heart, correct heartbeat rate in real time. The, currently, most of the, the wearable systems uh, detect the heartbeat rate. However, when we detect heartbeat rate, we have to stand this uh, to confirm. While we are moving or working, we want to detect the heartbeat rate exactly. This is the exact heartbeat rate uh, pulses, but from the PPG's signal from the watches, the signal is varying like this way. We cannot get the regular pulses like this way. Our goal is to obtain, the, from this signal, we want to obtain those pulses. The, my proposal is this one. We want to add two sensors. In conventional, there, are, there is only one sensor. And the, from, the reason why we adopted two sensors is that we can, when, while we are working or moving, the noise signal will be independent for those two sensors. That is the reason why we adopted two sensors. The, this is a signal uh, from the first sensor. This is a signal from the second sensor in time domain. Look at the, sometimes the posi positions are different from those two sensors. What we are doing is that first we do the frequency domain analysis. This is the fr first sensor's result. This red color is from the frequency domain result for, for the, this uh, time domain sequence. Look at in the stable condition, the peak signals appear at the same position. And we accumulate those two frequency signals at the same time to enhance the, the get the peak positions. Look at this, this. The, even though the real position is this one, the other noise signals can be enhanced. That's why we maybe cannot obtain the exact positions for the the, our heartbeat position. To remove those signals, we compare the previously obtained uh, peak positions, and if the difference is too big, we discard those signals. We finally decide this is the real the heartbeat rate uh, result. Look at the result. This is the conventional way. That means if there is only one sensor, the error is around 20 bit per minute. For our proposal, it has reduced just too much. It's only 2.1. And the other way, we have a pro proposed another one. It's called neural net based system. If we add some neural net based technology, we can improve the performance so much. We, we first do the training with the database and the the check the heart rate rate in real time. The finally, the obtained result is that this is only 0.98. It's really accurate, even with uh, while you're working or on a treadmill, the result is very correct. In conclusion, the, if we add two sensors and the frequency domain analysis, we can obtain very a reasonable result in real time. The, and finally, in the future, the neural basis they must be adopted. At the moment, it cannot be implemented in real time. However, in the future, this is the best system, I think. Thank you for your attention.